in land vehicles, right? Land vehicles on the road use natural gas instead of diesel or gasoline with a quick switch out of engines. Our next guest is betting on exactly that. He says it could happen in just five years. Joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive is Eric Cohen. He's Power Solutions International Chief Operating Officer. We, Eric, it's, it's fascinating, too. We've got to get to the stock right off the bat because we've got this investor audience. Uh, year to date, it's had a beautiful return of about 309%. But since your IPO in 2011, the return is 12,888%. So we really could have put our entire, entire savings in there and done very well. To what do you attribute the belief in success in a company or still a small cap, less than a billion uh, market cap? It, why is everybody so excited about this? What is it? Well, what we're seeing is <clears throat> we're seeing massive adoption to alternative fuels and natural gas engines away from diesel engines uh, as being the largest manufacturer in the country of natural gas alternative fuel engines, we're seeing very strong demand across many of our, our sectors, and especially recently for the last quarter, uh, oil and gas contributed a healthy, healthy dose to that growth. Okay, so you say that, that uh, there's mass adoption. I don't know anyone right now who has a natural gas-powered vehicle except Boone Pickens, whom I've interviewed. He loves his. I think he got it put into a Toyota. But what do you mean mass adoption? Yeah, what, um, there's, there's kind of bifurcated into two segments. So there's the, there's the passenger segment, there's the vehicle segment, then there's the industrial segment. Behind the scenes in the industrial segment, we sell everything from forklifts to power generation okay. to other areas in oil and gas. And what you're seeing is you're seeing big adoption in those areas. Um, but still, to your point, many of the markets in America are 90, 95 percent diesel or gasoline based. So what we're seeing is the adoption, although it's very small, it's a very quick adaption, and then we'd expect within the five years, as you alluded to, yep. to see a significant shares of vehicles in the country. So, so I'm betting on potential if I'm thinking of buying this stock. You have had an amazing first act, as we mentioned, a 12,000 plus percent return since the IPO just a year, two years ago. Uh, what do you do for the next act? Well, the, the way we look at it is it's still, still early innings here. Uh, so some of the markets take school buses. Uh, school buses are 96% diesel, only 4% adoption of alternative fuels. So there's many markets out there that we could see could grow 10 or 20 times. So we look at it, we're still a small company, but still early stages of the growth, and we expect to just execute on that growth and then capture uh, hopefully a, a fairly good good market share. Right. I mean, you start off sort of the industrial market and then maybe the, the rest of us fall behind um, or right behind in line. The IEA report, I know you, you must have seen this, right, came out today saying that by 2016, yes. the U.S. will be surpassing oil production, which will top Saudi Arabia's. That is stunning. I, I, people cannot believe that. But, but does that then hurt your case for natural gas powered vehicles if there's so much oil here? No, no, it doesn't, because natural gas is actually a byproduct of producing oil anyways. And if you look at the reserves, uh, there's mm -hmm. twice as many reserves found in natural gas over the last decade as oil. So okay. I think it will be a, a continue to be a big, healthy gap between the price of okay. gasoline and diesel and the price of natural gas. Can I quickly ask you before we go, how much does it cost to transfer a regular engine of a regular car, not, not a super fancy car, to a natural gas engine? Well, we're, um, so it's, it's a good question. Important to know, we're really just focused on the industrial commercial markets. Mm -hmm. We don't play in the automotive markets, but you are seeing Ford and GM now offering those conversion kits uh, out there, but, mm -hmm. but I don't have an exact price on, on the consumer All right, can you imagine so. if you get on that party train, it'll be even better. Good to see you. The ticker <laughs> symbol is PSIX. Company is Power Solutions, Natural Gas Engines. It's good to see you, Eric. Thank you so much. We'll follow this story. It's a good one. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. We always like to point out, too, about 10% of the float is shorted on this stock, but nonetheless, it's up 312% year over year. Closing bell ring.